Greg, what will your off season be like now? You, you know the you know, your condition and whatnot. What will it be like for you in terms of working out and getting back to 100%? I mean, right now, that's the goal. Um, through all this, smile through it, be happy, and um, happy that it wasn't really nothing serious, and attack every workout and every day like it's my last. But like I said, if anything, enjoy it, though. Have, have you started talking to the Wolves about the contract for next year or trying to sign with them? No, I, I haven't talked to anyone about that yet. Um, my agent haven't said anything right now. Uh, we're busy right now. I'm promoting my documentary, so um, we haven't sat down or even had a um, discussion about it yet. With that documentary, what are you hoping people get out of that when they watch it? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of things. Um, it's first off, it's solely for my fans, and if anybody want to like tune in, they can. But I, I did it solely for them. Um, um, I wanted to narrate my own story. You know, guys had documentaries done about their life in the past and I felt like um, I want to narrate and narrate my own story and put out a narrative that I actually went through that was truthful and uh, with me changing the narrative and coming out a better person um, it's just for people to see uh, for the young guys that my fans that look up to me that related to I mean related to me in a way where I didn't talk much but um, they felt or they felt some or a vibe from me that they could relate to or they came and seen the game and love the way that I hoop. You get to get a little glimpse of what I, or who I am as a person a little bit. Do you think people will find out things that they didn't know? Uh, probably, probably not. Like, I really don't know. I'm nervous right now, but who cares? Who knows? Hey, Derek, how do you look at this season as a whole? I mean, it started out so well for you. You're, I mean leading in the all-star voting, having a great season, probably not finishing up the way you like with another injury. Just yeah. how, how do you reflect on what you're experiencing this year? I feel like I had a great year, even uh, with my elbow. Like, I mean, with my year leading up to my elbow, like um, it sounds about right and may sound crazy, but with me changing my shot, um, the amount of shots that I put into this summer, um, it, it sounds right that I, I had to get my elbow clean, um, and I kind of knew that um, leading into the year, I, I always felt something in my elbow, but I didn't think it was too serious, and I thought that I could keep playing through it, but it just got worse, and um, I thought to myself, I might as well get it cleaned up and um, lean to the summer and lean to free agency, I'll be all right. So um, it's something minor, and I'll be shooting the ball within two or three weeks. So. It's nothing like my legs. Obviously, there's a lot that goes into free agency, but how much would uh, you know Ryan potentially coming back here? Who, who, who are the coaches? How much would that play into any particular decision that you would make in terms of your free agency? I mean, it'll play a part, but at the same time, I just want to be comfortable. That's it. I think in any situation, I've been in a lot of situations where you hear things and you, you, you wish <laughs> something that was different or your hopes are high and um, it it wasn't that. So leading into it, I'm going to hear every team out and um, Ryan them express how they felt about me and how the season was. Uh, we didn't have our exit meeting yet, but um, I think they're going to repeat that or um, tell me something in the exit meeting about me coming back or voice their opinion about it. And I'm going to hear them out. I'm going to hear every team out just to see what's on my table. Derek, your final four obviously has got everybody's attention in this city. Uh, that's where we first got to know you was in college in Memphis. What do you remember about your NCAA tournament home? Just having fun. Um, that was the funnest part. Uh, me enjoying playing, playing on that stage for one, uh, really competing against the best in the nation, and um, the environment. Um, I love playing with my guys. I love playing for Coach Kyle, and um, we had a hell of a run. And if if I could give advice to any other players is to uh, really have fun and enjoy it because it's rare that you play on teams like that where you feel like a family and it's kind of different when you come up here to the league where you really don't have that bond or certain teams have it but um, when you get up here you have families you have I mean have your own family you have businesses that you have to go to and when you're in college you're solely school and basketball and hanging around your guys so um, enjoy it uh, while you can and um, um, cherish it. At this stage in your career, 
both physically and in terms of your mindset. Do you have a clear preference in terms of point guard or, sh or shooting guard? Oh, yeah. If a team wants me, I have to, we'll figure it out. If I When I get to that team, if they want me to run the one or the two, it really don't matter. Um, the league now is um, it's changed a little bit where your two guards are smaller. Most guys, or you play certain teams, they play three point guards, it depend on the matchups, if they want to play small ball. And right now, I just got to, um, I mean, you really don't worry about it anymore because if I did play the two, it ain't, it's not like I'm, getting posted up by guys now because your average height for a two guard now is what like six what six four six five right now yeah like when Kobe when I first came in the league Kobe was your two guard and he's what how call it, tall is Kobe like exactly so now it's totally different and um yeah it really don't matter I don't have a preference you make you want to go where you're comfortable are you, are you comfortable here in Minnesota yeah, I was very comfortable here. I think that's why I played the way I played. I've been in um, uncomfortable situations. I'm not going to state it, but I've been there and um, and felt terrible. So playing, coming here, and being able and having the opportunity to play, and for like Cat Wig, like for all the players to allow me to play the way that I played, like it just shows the character that they have and and how they, I guess, how they like playing with me. You have a sense of how much longer you can go. I mean, do you feel like you can play another three, four, five years? Yeah, longer? but uh, yeah, I'm not going to put a number on it. But like I said earlier in the interview, that um, the day that I, I can't change a game, that's when I know like it's time to hang it up. Like <coughs> I can be a player that's out there, like just out there, just playing and not having a goal. Let me just say that. So right when I can't change a game, I'm going to hang hang them up. Oh, it's huge. Like when you have a player, he's he has MVP type of talent. Like it's no it's no if if buts about it. Like he, he plays hard. It's all about having him communicate and um, and play with urgency throughout the entire year. Like as a team, and everybody knows that we're playing through him, and he's the best player on the team. It's all about just communicating, especially when you have a young group, and we're trying to like. Um, work on our principles as a group, uh, you know, with a young group. So, um, and having Ryan, having the Jimmy thing earlier, it was a lot of things that went to the equation. Hey Derek, how, how important is it for a team once the season ends, through the summer, to get together, to see each other, I guess, work out a little bit, work on kind of the chemistry and, and, and things like that, you know, even when you're not in, in a season? It's huge. Uh, when I was in L.A., uh, I seen the Sacramento Kings do that. I haven't been a part of any team that did that. Um, I don't play in the summer. All I do is just do individual workouts. So um, I think it's important to do that when you have a young group like we have. But every coach is different. Every front office is different. And they are, they're going to handle it how they're going to handle it.